Rise and shine, Wild Pack. It's Bernadette. Good morning. How is everybody this morning? Woo 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 woo. Wow, everybody's up and ready this morning. Oh my gosh, how fabulous. Tell me you can hear me. I know you can hear me. I trust that you can hear me. Yes, say you can hear me. Say you can hear me because something happened where, um, uh, ah, yes, you can hear me. Yay. Uh, I don't, my stuff keeps resetting. It's craziness. So, um, all right. So good morning. Good morning. Uh, right. I don't know who you are, Anna Shubaba Daba Lama Kadingity Ding Di Dong, but you're blocked. And it's going to be a morning like that, right? I'm going to have to start blocking people first this morning. Great googly moogly. So first things y'all is I just want to thank you so much for, um, all the kind words and the messages and whatever that I got over the last few days. Um, you know, I, I've been very fortunate, um, through this hurricane. There are some people that, <laughs> you Jennifer my hair looks pretty I love it because it's about as humid here in Florida and um my hair just says <laughs> goodness I got Brillo head um when it gets crazy humid so in any event um thank you so much I was very fortunate I have friends who have friends friends who have friends uh where trees fell in their houses um this one lady her son was asleep in his bedroom and this was like angels, spirit animals. Everybody was watching out over this little nine-year-old boy because the tree, this giant oak tree came down through the roof, through the sides, through the everything. And there was like this perfect archway over this kid's bed. Not a leaf, not a branch, not a nothing fell on this kid, right? Craziness. Thank you, Gail. I missed y'all. My goodness, I missed y'all. It's, uh, oh, my heart is so tethered to you guys. You don't even know. So um, a couple of things uh, this morning. Um, first of all, let me make apologies. I, <laughs> I have promised for the last two Fridays to give tarot packs away or tarot decks away. Cause for those of you just joining, welcome, welcome. Um, for, you know, from a long time subscribers and a long time pack, Ooh, you know, I love you. But on this channel, I read, which is my channel. Uh, I'm Bernadette by the way. And I read from my own award-winning history making arc animal tarot and Oracle deck, which is based on the Rider Waite Smith tarot system. Um, but uh, then adds all the crazy, powerful, crazy accurate animal energy that goes on, you know, in when you're working with the animal allies, your animal spirit guides, that kind of thing. So um, thank you all for all we, I missed you all too, my goodness. Um, and so for me, I was very lucky with this hurricane. Now there is four feet of water standing in my backyard. It hasn't made it up to my house and that's a good thing, but it's supposed to rain again today. So I'm going to be out with my galoshes and all my in my gear seeing if I got to start chucking handbag or chucking sandbags or soil or whatever. Cause yeah. So anyway, <gasps> Oh my gosh, little C big C. Yes. That's craziness. So, um, first things first, thank you so much to teapot Maureen, Maureen and teapot. Um, you all, I don't even know what any of us would do without y'all as moderators. You're just the best. Um, such, such beautiful, beautiful people. I love you so much, Amy. I'm sure she'll be here sometime this morning. Um, she is my right hand, my left, she's my right hand and my left hand, y'all. Um, cause without her, I'd, I'd be like, I don't even know what I would be like. I, I don't even know. And a shout out to Joel. He's on vacation for a couple of weeks. So we hope he has a great, wonderful vacation. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do without him for two weeks either. <laughs> so anyway, um, but we are going to, I am going to give away those four tarot decks and on Fridays, I'm also going to start giving away a free half an hour reading that's worth $75. So, um, we'll have different games and whatnot that we'll play, uh, through, you know, through this, but today I'm giving away four things. I'm giving away the two tarot decks. Um, they're the deluxe edition that have all 149 cards. They, they retail at $80 a piece and I'm even picking up the shipping. Um, so you'll get that if you win, I'm giving away three of those today and I'm giving away a $75 free half an hour reading. I will make the caveat on the reading. It's got to be after I'm back from vacay, which, um, I've got a really special thing planned for you all while I'm on vacation. It will be, they will be the daily readings, but they'll be also, um, let me, I don't want, I don't want to give away the secret, but, um, they, they're also guides that you can come back to and back to and back to and back to. And I have been, they've been on my, on my content list for forever and ever. And that's it. I'm just going to do it. I'm being called to do it. And I really hope y'all take a chance to look at the Sunday ceremony. Um, Amy and I had this, I don't, 
oh my gosh, this thing happened this past week that you just can't, you can't make it up. You just can't. And we, we talk about that. And I know a lot of y'all are wanting to get into your, um, <laughs> that's what happens when I'm tired. I'm y'all, a lot of y'all are wanting to get into dang, 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 man, I should be dressed in flannel and my dang overalls right now with my muckalucks on. But, um, I, uh, I know a bunch of y'all are, uh, dipping your toes in the water or already have your toes in the water of being a tarot reader, um, a psychic, a medium, an animal communicator, a shamanic practitioner. And so this set of, uh, videos, which will, which will span from, uh, July 22nd through, I'll get back on August 4th and then I'll be, I'll be back in the saddle, uh, on August 5th, hopefully. Uh, it depends on how long the trip takes us on August 4th, but it's just like this tutorial, 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 but also uh, they're the, your reading for the day. So if you show up and it's about this, you were definitely supposed to hear that in that moment. So today what we're going to do is uh, I want to give away a, um, I want to go ahead and give away a deck. And so um, we'll, I'll try to do one deck every, you know, little bit, and then the, we'll save the reading for the end. So here's what's happening. Um, if you all will please close your eyes. Well, you don't have to close your eyes. I just want you to relax and take a deep breath. And the goal is for you to guess what this card is, but not guess. It, it's about going with your psychic intuition. And I know that you know what it is because the energy of the card is already transmitting to you. The energy of the animal is already transmitting to you. I'm transmitting it to you. And it, any, anything that you get about the card, any images, any sounds, any visions, um, go ahead and start putting it in the chat and I'll give it just a second or so or a minute or so. And the person that gets the closest to it, I will ship you a brand spanking new deluxe edition of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. And um, this might sound egotistical. I truly hope it's not, but I had six people this week ask me to autograph their decks and their books when they come in. And I... I was like, sure, I'd, you know, okay, yay. And so if you want it autographed, I'll do that too. Okay, um, we've got wolf or fox, squirrel, penguin, sun, macaw, elephant, black panther, tiger and snake. Keep going, not even close, keep going. Nope, nope, okay center and for those of you that are going truly going about this intuitively did you set your intention did you ask spirit or whatever it is you believe in to um to bring you what's in this card and you can even get the like the meaning of the card and that will be good nope no water i don't know what eirm is is that an animal? <laughs> Iguana, nope. Jaguar, nope. Fox, nope. Flamingo, nope. Freedom, no. Sorry, Krista. Come on, y'all, think. Not even think, just open up. Just open up, just open up. You can do it. I know you can. Nope, nope. Remember, there are 149 cards in the arc, but it doesn't really, um, it, it, can't focus. Nope. That's not the card, Kelly. <laughs> you can focus. Don't say that. It's not even that you have to focus. It's just here. Okay. Let me tell you the trick of this. Okay. I'm going to reveal a big, 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 big secret, a big secret. And that is, it's not a bee. It's not a bat. It's not an owl, but let me re blue. Uh, nope. Let me reveal the big secret of this. What's your intention? Why do you want to win this deck? Why? What are you going to do with it? How is it going to serve your purpose? How is it going to serve somebody else's purpose? What is it going to do for you? And in return, what are you going to do for the animal kingdom, right? So if you set your intention, what happens is spirit, that's what I call the animal allies, the universe, the everything, uh, everything. That's my, that's, that's my vernacular for it. Your vernacular might be something else. I'm watching, I'm watching to see um, if anybody's getting this right. But if you just take a second and reset, and set your intention, spirit will always want to help you achieve what's in your best interest, right? And then if you further set your intention that I want to achieve what's in my best interest, but I don't want to suffer trauma or go through trauma like the tower card or the devil card, you know, to, to go through that, there'll be um, benevolence, you know, will be brought in and 
the, the message will come to you much more clearly because then you've said to speak, you won't be out there like, you know, with chopsticks trying to catch a fly, like, you know, Mr. Miyagi and the Karate Kid, you'll be like, oh, okay. Then you're having a conversation. Then you are working in tandem with the animal allies. Okay. Yes, exactly. My spirit animals, C. Canuel, you're darn skippy. Okay. It is, uh, she says, C. Canuel says, my spirit animals will guide me and I will guide others in return. Okay. Um, I can't be on all day meeting on Zoom. Oh, Mary, we'll miss you. Rhino, Phoenix, marsupial, horse freedom, five of swords, not even close. And if it was one of the other cards that I'd already pulled, I'd tell y'all, but it's not. Lisa Benusen or Bensusen, it is not a hippo, but I did pull a hippo card for somebody earlier today. I totally did. Relationship and interconnectedness with the divine. That's too, that's too broad. Um, that's too broad, Gail. We're going for specificity. T-Rex. Nope. Bear. Nope. Snake. Nope. Equine energy. Nope. But Nikki, Nikki Anderson, it's not equine energy, but you, you're closer. You're, you're closer. Um, owl. Nope. Polar bear. Nope. Okay, I'm going to keep my eye on everything till y'all get this. Nope. Just take a second, figure out why you want the deck. Why do you want the deck? What are you going to do with it? And ask spirit to show you what's going on. And it can be anything. It can be, um, it, 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 you could get anything. You could get the feeling of it. You could hear words. You could hear guidance. That's, that is way too broad. All cards are for guidance. Burrow. Nope. Meerkat. Nope. Rhino. Nope. Llama. Nope. I wish it was a llama. I've had my head all, you know, Gail, it's, you know what? It's interesting that you, that you write that Gail. Cause I've had my head all up and um, I just ordered a bunch of llama decor for one of my bathrooms. Cause I'm in love with them. You see big wide eyes. Okay. Pearl. Um, yeah. But what does that mean? Centauros. Rosa Lipke, it's not a centaur, but it's not a white buffalo, it's not an elk, but y'all are getting closer. So see, what's happening is, as you work with the energy and you let this all sit with you and you really just keep receiving and receiving and receiving, again, go back to your intention. What is your intention? Why do you want this deck? What will you accomplish with this deck? What will it do for you? And in return, what will you do with the animal allies? Ah, see, can you well? Bam, Minotaur. Ba 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 ba. See, can you well? Whoop 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 whoop. Uh, Maureen or Teapot, would you please um make a note that it was See Can You Well that won the first um congratulations to See Can You Well. You've won. Excellent. And just let them know if you would like it autographed. I'm not pushing it on you, but um I'm not pushing it on you. But for those of you that were starting to get horned creatures. The Minotaur is a mixture between a smoking hot dude and uh, they're always smoking hot in the pictures, right? And, um, and a bull. And so those of you that were starting to get the horned animals and that, you know, that kind of thing. And Nikki, when you were latching onto equine energy and those of you that said centaur and whatnot, you were starting to latch onto or receive, I should say that, 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 um, that fantasy mythological, that hybrid creature. And so, um, yeah, nice job. See, can you well, bam. Okay. Whoop, whoop. I'm so excited. I really have felt bad the last couple of weeks. And my moderators, when I get off the horn, they're like, you forgot to give away a deck. We tried to tell you, but I'm so busy reading. <laughs> I'm so busy reading for y'all. I just forget what's going on. So, um, all right. So I am, uh, what Kelly B you don't have that card. You girl, you need the fantasy pack. You need all the, you need all the add-ons. Yes, you do. Um, so, all right, we're going to get started right up in here. And so on Fridays, what we do is, um, now that you've set that intention, man, also, oh, holy cow, are a whole bunch of y'all were, I think I asked this the other day, but I'm going to ask it again. I, I don't remember asking, but are a whole bunch of y'all working on your mediumship on connecting to the other side? Because as I turned my attention from this and I, I psychically like did, you know, wah, off the stage into your energy, um, 
it's cool what now I now know what it feels like to be a rock star um I uh I just feel like a lot of y'all are really focusing on mediumship currently and um man oh man oh man oh man okay uh it's working just so you know those of you that are focusing on mediumship y'all are fitting to hear from the dead people like and, and animals like nobody's business I'm telling you now there I just feel like this wave of like all of a sudden it won't be it'll just be such a, a flow a natural flow or whatever good for y'all just yeah okay oh you were fl you were floating around in the pool doing that earlier restless mermaid don't you live like aren't you aren't you way out west somewhere you're like three hours behind us what were you doing in the pool at five o'clock in the morning okay yeah akashic records work would be kind of the same thing so congratulations to c canuel and let's talk about um very quickly we're going to go into um this reading because it's uh man it is i i just chuckled and chuckled and chuckled and chuckled and chuckled it is such a hopeful and not hopium okay right not the false hopium that you get addicted to but is not real but the true hope and the true inspiration and so whatever is most on your mind and your heart um or even in your gut whether it's a, a positive thing or it's a thing that's like causing you consternation like I don't know, job, family, yourself, whatever it is, this is your answer today. And so what, what I do on Fridays is I pull a past card, what the past, will, you know, give you a little more insight about the past, how that pertains to the present, and then what it can look like um, or probably will look like in the future. Um, I, I don't normally go with, um, with spreads when, when I read, I just pull a card or, you know, I mean, I, I, I've been doing tarot for forever because I love it, but at my core, I'm an evidential psychic medium. So I get specific messages, very, very specific um, messages. And so I don't remember who it was that said white buffalo, that typed in white buffalo for the contest, but I'll guarantee you, you were picking up white buffalo because the story on Sunday, that's the Sunday ceremony that Amy and I do for y'all, it is uh, it, it's a white buffalo has an I don't want to give it away but white buffalo <laughs> you're gonna be like she's either crazy or or that really ha like you, you can't make it up just watch the video so okay um so good morning everybody let's get started all right so I want you guys to just set your intention and think you know whatever the thing is that, that why you would want a reading today what's on your heart what's on your mind what's in your gut and um and i am ooh catherine skaggs yeah oh i don't have her book sitting by me if y'all haven't got if y'all haven't gotten catherine skaggs book you need to get catherine skaggs book it is one of the best books on shamanism i've ever read and i'm not telling y'all that because she's my soul sister I've known her for a thousand and a half years but um i'm telling you man it's amazing her her work has always been amazing but she just took this to completely different levels um we'll put the we'll put the link for the uh to buy her book uh, right down there okay so let me let me just say that uh the other thing that i did was i got the bear tarot um from doug thorns joe he 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 makes uh themed decks and i have all of his halloween decks because you know i love halloween but he made this amazing amazing bear deck where everything in here is a teddy bear and they are just the cutest cutest little cards i just you know they're the size of a regular deck but they and they don't even they don't come with it they come in a plain white box and they don't come with any kind of instructions because that's up to you to have the relationship with the bears and whatnot right but they're just the most adorable things so when i pulled from um, my deck the arc i i pulled the accompanying um bear card and also the rider weight smith card so that we could just kind of I wanted to show you all this morning how even if you flip a card, it's important to know that if you if you are focusing on that card, if you've asked that tarot card to come to you in a tarot reading and you've set your intention and you're getting your answers or you're trying to find insights, that you've then kind of set a, a lane for the day. And what that means is, is like, let's say that you're trying to drive to the next city over and you're, you've gone, okay, well, I'm going to take this route instead of this route. You've then set your course for that day. And 
and and so when let's say you pull a card so let's say the card that was pulled for you all this morning is the alligator which is the page of cups okay now if you take a look in the writer Waite Smith version of that okay you're gonna see and here's the bear version and I'm not trying to confuse you guys or muddy the waters or anything but it's really important that let's say that you are looking at the you know a situation a person a whatever a something that you want and all of a sudden this card comes for you and then you're like why am I seeing fish everywhere today that's why because index that that follow the very my deck follows the meanings and symbolism really in depth but you won't find in my deck you, you'll find elements that allude to the card like the alligator coming out of water and it's a baby alligator because page is you know you're a page before you're a knight and then you know maybe knights become king, king or queens or you see where i'm going with that so it's important that you take a look at everything that's going around you on that time or during that day or you can even set a time frame when uh, you know when you've just got to be aware of everything and what that means is when you take a look at the page of cups um this is a deeply emotional card and it isn't a quote unquote immature card because it does mean that you're leading with your emotion. But in this case, for whatever the past thing is or the past circumstance or the past interaction with a person or whatever it is about, about whatever it is that you're getting a reading about today, you, you, you could not have done any better for yourself than staying in your emotions and truly feeling what you feel because that's the time when i mean if you just look at the tarot card meanings of the page of cups it you can boil it down to like artistry and creativity and these amazing insights that come that you're like why didn't i think of that before why, why didn't i see that before and then when you take a look at some of the metaphysical correlations um or correspondences with the page of cups of course it's water uh, the, its zodiac sign is cancer and you know you can use any kind of uh, or work with any kind of crystal that would remind you of water uh, you know I particularly like emeralds for this uh, card uh, they're they're my one of my favorite bluish green you know kinds of cards but y you could you could work with anything and so based on on the past okay if you're doing a if you're doing a three card spread or really any spread where the page of cups pop, pops up it's important to take some time and reflect, um, like you could say of this fella, right? This little bear, he's, he's, he's out there in a field, like, and there's a stream, there's water behind him, right? And the little fish is popping his head out of the cup. And what that means is, you know, the fish is always looking up at him. Now, if we take a look at, you know, the meanings of fish as a spirit totem and power animal, for this reading today, let me be clear, for this reading today, what I'm being told from the animal allies to share with you all about the past of this particular card as it pertains to your situation is this. It goes back to that thing where in, um, you know, definitely uh, in, in traditional Christianity, and there are any number of other religions and faiths which we don't discuss on my channel but i i would be remiss i would not be doing my job uh effectively or in depth enough as a as a teacher um, or even as a reader to discount the symbolism that stems the meanings and the omens and the mess that stem from you know stem from all different parts of the world it's how i honor cultures all the, all around the world right okay you get that fish mean abundance they mean plenty they mean sustenance and then there's the old um saying you know if you give a man a fish you you he can eat for a day but if you teach a man to fish or a woman or whomever they can sustain themselves for a lifetime and that's what this card is all about what that really means for you all today and then we'll get to alligator in just a second because it is part of the card what that means for you all today is, uh, and you'll see more about that, you'll see more about what I'm about to say in the card that's come for the future, but for now what I want you to remember is, see this book in this little bear bear's hand? 
and see these little feathers in his cap? That is your call about sacred scribing. That is your call about it's time for you to do, y'all, if y'all, if y'all are hearing that crazy noise, it's my chihuahua snoring like, I don't know, like she's a, a for real lumberjack. Okay. So whatever this past situation is, it's important that you, that you allow yourself to, to, to think back and what are the feelings and the visions and the, what are the ideas that came during that time at the start of this situation, right? That you're, that you're getting a reading about today and, and just do some automatic writing. Now the trick about this is, and this will be further, this will be further supported by the card that's coming for you in the future about sacred scribing. I'm, I'm very guilty of this. I yak, 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 yak. I, but what, but I don't journal and I, I have to keep a calendar of different things, but I don't write things down as often as I probably ought to. Um, and so, oh, thank you, Nikki, you're a fish. <laughs> thank you, Nikki. Thank you for very much for the donation. Um, and I'll say it again, y'all, I don't ask for donations on this channel, but know that 50% of everything that you all send goes right to support the animal chair. <gasps> happy birthday, light beacon. Um, and that's wonderful, but, uh, and I happy birthday to you. You have been acknowledged. I'm sure all of the wild pack will tell you. And that is not how we do things on my channel on Friday, um, but I welcome you and I hope that this will be uh, meaningful for you because you already are having cards pulled for you, Light Beacon, um, because they're being pulled for everybody. So all of that being said, um, I, uh, I, whatever this is about this situation that you're focused on, it's, it's, and I'm hearing the word critically, it's critically important that you write things down because it might be just a word that stimulates you. It might be a phrase. It might be the feeling. But once you let it out of here or out of here, right? And remember, this is Friday. It's the throat chakra day. It's the day of Venus, right? Venus rules Fridays. So when I take a look at this card or, or you know, in any, any page of cups, really, because if you're adhering to the Rider-Waite-Smith system, any page of cups, it's going to be about the insights that you get. It's going to be, um, those should, should come from a place of love, meaning whatever you're most focused on now, you're either trying to get to the love or reignite the love, reawaken it, or have the courage to lean into what it is that you love. And this might even be about self-love. I don't think so. That's not the feel that I get. That's not the message that's being sent by the animal allies. But it is the, um, I, I keep seeing lots of young animals. So animals that haven't matured yet. So whatever this is, no matter where you think it is, hi from Denmark, um, no matter where you think this situation is, it, it's, it's newer than you think, M meaning let's say that you're in a situation or you've got something on your mind and you just really think it's past repair. It's beyond repair. It can't be retrieved. It can't be healed. It can't, whatever. That's not so, it's not, it's not so far down there that it's like that. Okay. And so, um, the other thing that I would say, you know, when you, again, you take a look at the traditional tarot card meanings of this, of this card. And I always like, you know, of course I love it when people work with the animal allies in the arc, but if you are, if you are to be a, a seasoned in-depth tarot reader, then I would, I would encourage you to really take a deep dive into the individual symbolism of the, you know, of the cards. So the, the, the thing about these insights that you'll have gotten is they might seem like new insights to you, but they're not. They've been laying dormant in you for a long, 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 long time. And you are just now allowing yourself the free channel, the clear channel to be able to hear it. And then the courage to be able to step forward, right? His little foot is out, step forward and, 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 and move through this however it is that, that is going to be best for you. Now, when you take a look at the lotus flowers that are embroidered on the page's tunic, okay, 
again, it te- it's, a, it's a sign these ideas aren't coming out of thin air. And if you'll just let them take root, right, like the lotus flowers that are opening, they're going to be deeply rooted and it's going to be a long-term gain or, or goal met or something healed and cleared out, whatever it is for you. But the thing about it is, is the page of cups is the earth aspect of water. So it's kind of like how Nile sludge flooding fields of ancient Egypt. It, it, there's, for instance, my backyard that's flooded right now. I don't like that it's flooded. Now, I don't like that it's flooded because it's flooded from the creek that runs behind me, but it's a man-made creek. It was dug out to, you know, to control the water runoff in, in this neighborhood and all the neighborhoods around it. So it does go to the spring source underground about a mile from my house, but at the end of the day, it, it's not like my yard is getting flooded with this really rich sediment from, from you know, the Nile or, or the Rainbow River here in Florida or the Ichnatuckney or Okeechobee or wherever. It's not like that. It's not harmful, but it's not like that. So something about all of this is when you, um, when you take a look at this and you, you know, he's kind of on a stage, right? He's on ground, he's on, he's on land, but it's kind of setting the stage and it's really more of a psychological process rather than it is a mental process. So if you're, if you are pondering something, if you're looking for answers for something, again, write it down. Okay. This in, in the Rider Waite Tarot, uh, deck, the fish is actually a salmon and that's really important. It's not just that it is a fish, it's that it's a salmon. So anything that you're wanting to move toward, you've got an inspiration and, and you, when I say move forward or toward that could include moving away from something to move toward something and or out of something to you know it can be any of those things but you, you got to make like a salmon right you got to be and be you know going upstream going upstream going upstream because you've got the strength and the tenacity to do that and you you're going to have the energy because you're going to have youth on your side you're going to have that exuberance of youth on your side now here's the other thing um the page of cups is not always a, a male there are tarot decks that that present the page as female and in this day and age i encourage people even if they even if you are sticking to the traditional tarot card meanings um this is kind of a different day and age so i'd be i'd be really clear on any card about what the gender could be because even though the rider waite smith and you know the me card meanings uh are kind of set in stone ish that's it doesn't mean they have to be read that way it means that you can pick and choose what comes to you so for instance the alligator being part of this okay in my deck the alligator you know for the page of cups tarot card is all about those watery depths and tenacity and um staying below the surface a bit so that you can you know you can see what's coming but you're still, you're still safely in the, um, you know, in the water. So you're feeling all the feels, but you're still, you know, able to look around like that. And then if you need to stay submerged for a while, you stay submerged, which I have always thought that the page of cups tarot card is, it gives a little bit of permission for people to stay, um, in that, in stay submerged because it's really about, your subconscious mind and and the inquisitive nature of what you might think was once upon a time your youth but maybe it's it's now time to to bring those things forward from from youthhood or childhood because now you you might have the the confidence or the means or the the stamina or the te- or the co- you know whatever you need to then bring bring that to life that you couldn't bring to life or thought you couldn't bring to life earlier and let's be clear i'm not talking uh you know in this card is not talking just about visual art this is talking about i mean your life is a canvas right it's cheesy that sounds cheesy but it's true and so if you think of your life as a work of art you know, 
<laughs> my life is a child's finger painting, you know, with the little stick figures. Um, but your life may be a Renoir or you want it to be a Monet or you want it to be, a a, a, a Klimt or, a um, oh my God, there's this fabulous artist. He does a lot of stuff for Disney. Everything he does is in like super fifties. Uh, I can't think of his name. I just love his stuff. Very, very, very Jetsons like it's just so cool, but it can be anything, right? But creativity, remember, that's also about solving problems. Case in point, I had, a, I had a conversation with a dear friend yesterday and she'd gotten notice of something and she, wow, she was in full on spin mode and, 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 and it makes sense why she would be. And I was like, wait, stop. Okay. She had already come to a conclusion of what this news that she got would mean or meant. And that was the only information she was working on. And I was like, now, wait a minute. What if this, what if that, why couldn't this be that way? Why couldn't that be that way? she hadn't thought about it, right? Because she was still kind of in panic mode. So if the, if the past of this has you still spinning a little bit in panic mode, you, you're, that you're done with that, that time is that, that you, you're done. Any, anything that you need to know, any insights, any psychic messages, certainly any emotions, it's gonna start coming to you the minute that you start collect, collect, collecting, connecting, with the page of cups right and maybe you will connect also with alligator because again in the arc that is the page of cups and i've i find it's never any it's never any coinky dink what card will come out for what person at what time at what moment and be so specific so um i really hope that was helpful uh, about the page of cups and its tarot card meanings now i just want to say uh, actually one more thing in terms of when you're getting signs and symbols, so for instance, today is the throat chakra day. Today is the Venus day. Yes, we talked about that a little bit earlier, but this, the, the Page of Cups tarot card can certainly, certainly mean that it's time for you to have a loving, deeply rooted conversation with yourself about yourself and take a look around you and see what roots you, you really want to, um, you really want around you. So like if you're a, if you're a lotus flower, you know, do you want to be choked out by hydrilla? We have that problem in Florida, right? We hydrilla, it's an invasive species. It's a, it's a nightmare. And, but strangely manatees eat it. Right. Um, and so, Kincaid, thank you. Uh, no, 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 no. Starlight. Uh, not, no, not Kincaid. He, he does all of the beautiful homey, almost Norman Rockwell kind of things. I can't think of his name. I, you're thinking of, Robert Kincaid, or I know who you're thinking of. Um, I can't even think of that dang guy's name, but his art is just hilarious. I just love it. But here's the thing. Thank you, Nubian Ninja. Thank you very, very much for the donation. Appreciate that a lot. Um, a lot, a lot. And uh, again, I don't ask for donations, but if you are so inclined, 50% of what I uh, get in donations on this channel go to support the animal charities that I support, which in, in specific, um, just some of them are the animal place that rescues farm animals. I, I, I sponsor a pink pig out there. Uh, and I, I, I do as much as I can for animals, Asia that fight against bile bear farming. Um, gentle carousel is certainly one of my favorite, uh, charities. Uh, and, and there are some others, but it's, it's all people that fight against cruelty to animals. So, um, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Okay. So now moving on then, um, to moving on to the next um, card, which is, okay, that was the situation then, the Page of Cups is the situation then, and that's, you know, more about, you know, taking a look at, at the Page of Cups tarot card really in depth, and so no matter when you're watching this video, like, you know, I'm talking about this card during a live reading that 
um, I did for the Wild Pack that's uh, on the 9th of July of 2021. You may be watching this in 2025. It still is relevant for you in this moment as it was when the reading came out and when we talked about this card because nothing is nothing is a coinkydink. Thank you, Christine. Thank you so much for the donation. That is so sweet. Thank you. Um, and so uh, thank you, Christine Beckett. That's very kind of you. And so it, you know, take a look at the past of your situation and take a look at, you know, now we're going to move into with a different card, which is so fascinating because that was the page of cups. But the next card that came out for the wild pack for you all is another page. It's the page of pentacles. <laughs> okay. So when you take a look at a tarot reading, especially if you're doing a spread. Well, uh, you know, really anytime. I, I just don't find that spreads are, you know, I'm not married to them. But again, I'm an intuitive tarot reader. I know all the symbol symbolism backwards, forwards, and Diagon Alley, but, uh, and probably more, than, probably more than most people would like to hear me express, but meaning I, I talk a lot about each card in a reading because it, it just can, what you think is on the surface for a tarot card meaning if you'll just take a second and let the story unfold, you'll find so much richer and deeper and more accurate um, information that's being brought to you by spirit that you, oh my gosh, it's just, it, it can be so very valuable. It can, I mean, listen, y'all, it can be life-changing, right? Okay. So when, when you take a look at, okay, now, now we were talking about the page of cups and cups as a suit, right? As a suit in it's one of the four suits in the minor arcana. That was the word I was trying to figure out. Minor arcana. I look at, I look at an emotional maturity or maturational kind of progress that, that suits do in, in the minor arcana cups being the least mature because it's, you know, you're all up in the fields and then you've got swords and wands that can flip flop, right? because not all people read swords as fire. Some people read them as air. Not all people read wands as fire. Some people read them as air. And so in a way they kind of flip flop for that second and third, you know, higher on the tier, but then you get to the pentacles and that's when, you know, you know, for a, a suit in the tarot cards, you know, in the minor arcana, now you're talking about the most elevated, the most mature, because now you're taking a look at pentacles, which is, the five pointed star, which is mind, body, and, you know, um, earth, scar, pardon me, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, right? Okay. So it's, you know, I mean, honest to goodness, if honestly, if I just sat and put this all in crown and, and the trajectory of this reading for you today, for whatever it, it, whatever it means to you, for whatever situation you have going on, that's on your heart or your mind, or in your gut, it, I say write it in crown because it's literally as simple as you would explain to a five-year-old or six-year-old. Not that you all are simple, you're not, but it's just that straightforward. It's so literal. So whereas the page of cups, the, the, you know, the beginnings of all of this, now you've got the page of pentacles that's shown up and you are, you're like, oh, that idea. Oh, that way. Oh, I, okay, great. And now you're setting a course of action. Now you're on a quest for the wisdom. What, what little, what are, what are all the pieces of the puzzle that I need to see? I need to institute. I need to put in that can, that can support or make happen or let blossom like the lotus flower, let blossom in this situation, whether positive or not so much. And, and you know, at that point, you're going to have an abundant harvest. Now the page of pentacles, the element is earth and its zodiac sign is Capricorn. And when you talk about, <laughs> when you talk about cancer, right? The zodiac sign of cancer being the, being the zodiac sign of the page of cups. And now you've evolved to Capricorn. You've gone from an animal crustacean that can be pretty skittish, but they can put up a good fight with their little pinchers to a Capricorn who will stay on task. It's very much like Capricorns. 
I think are kind of the love child of Aries and Taurus, right? Like Aries is just pew, off to the races and Taurus is slower to get started, but once they do, you can't get them off, you know, off course because they hate change. But then you bring Capricorn in the middle who will get started like that when they think it's wise and only when they think it's wise because they are fiercely independent and they will stay on it, 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 stay on it. Um, but not because they're not, and it's not because they're afraid of change. It's because they will stay on something that they want to accomplish. I think the only other sign that I, th I think is like that, the only other Zodiac sign um, is Scorpio. When we get obsessed about, says the triple Scorpio, we get obsessed about something because it's I desire. Nothing and no one stands in our way, mostly. You, you get what I'm saying about that. So all of, all of that said, now where you're at with this situation or person or whatever that's most on your mind, and it can be yourself, it can be work, it could be kids, it could be fur babies, it could be partners, it could be a business, a, a business that you want to start, a business that you're like, oh, I might need to let go of this. Um, this is, oh my gosh, I just want to hug every single one of you because I know the card that's coming for the future. You don't yet, right? In this three card, you know, t this three, what am I trying to say? This three card tarot card spread, right? I know the card that's coming in the future. So I cannot overstate how important it is that you hear that you are at the page of pentacles space in this journey from past, present to future. Even if you don't think it, even if you don't feel it, it's where you are. Now, if, if you will keep your mind inquisitive and open, because whereas the page of cups was starting to bring in and having you go, aha, now the page of pentacles is teaching you how to really let that take root and really like if you take a look well if you take a look at these um you know from the rider Waite smith deck right okay we always have to well the way i teach you always have to take a look at the traditional symbolism of the rider Waite tarot uh if that's the deck that you're working with or some variation even if the artwork is different but it is based on the rider Waite smith system right well in the traditional card there are beautiful plowed green fields in back um, that is, uh, you know, if you take a look at the, it, and it also helps if you know the cards proceeding, you know, in their suit, right? In the minor arcana, the 10 of pentacles precedes this card. And so that's about whiz in, in the 10 of pentacles. It's about the wisdom gained from observing, uh, you know, like known moral and natural laws and reflecting on a lifetime of experience. But in theory, the page is literally a blank slate. Now, having said that, now maybe you can see why a little bit further into why the page of cups is even more important in relationship to the where you are now, to where you are before, because it serves very much like the 10 of pentacles, but another bunch of steps forward, which is wisdom gained from observing. And even though it's really about universal law, moral law, natural law, um, in the 10 of pentacles, whatever is coming through to you or did come through to you in the past that you may not remember until just this moment when you start your sacred scribing for this journey, this quest, right? Because make no mistake, you are on a quest. And I would love for y'all to tell me in the chat, if you feel like everything that you are, um, Hamed Isquiak, I am sending you so much love because you just must be in such horrible pain to be trying to scam people. I do feel sorry for you, um, but I'm also blocking you. So I send you away with all the love in my heart. That's why they call it being psychic. I'm all up in this reading and my spidey senses said, bing, 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 bing. I might've missed one earlier, but I don't think so. But anyway, okay. So let me, let me get back. Um, let me get back. To, to this. And what that means is, um, if you feel like that literally just going to the grocery store is a quest these days, literally doing your job, if you have a job or 
you know, doing anything for yourself or trying to help other people or, or, or whatever this is on your mind, do you feel like it's a quest? It's not just a, Hey, I got to go to the store. It's a quest. And, um, Aniku DC. All right. Um, ugh, such a quest. All right. Aniku DC. All right, y'all, I'm putting you on alert. Some jackass named Aniku DC, um, who I love very much. And I'm sending so much love and light to that person, whoever they really are. Um, because you must be in such pain. You, you must have, and I'm sorry for your awful life because only an awful life, um, or some nasty karma could be leading you to want to scam people, especially in the spiritual space. So when I see you again, I'm going to ban you and I'm going to do it with all the love that I can muster. <laughs> Get it? All the love that I can muster. That may not be a lot, but it'll be love. Okay. So all that being said, let's go back. If you feel lately like everything is a quest for you, it's because it is. And that's a good thing. Okay. Um, it's a good thing because it's setting you up for the future, which is I don't even, I don't even know that spirit can give me the words for it because if you will allow it to be, it will be absolutely dream come true, wishes fulfilled, but all because of you, because that you, you went on your quest and you had, you, you knew you let spirit, you let the animal allies, your angels, your, you know, your God, the universe, all that is, so on and whatever, because you let it in and you are letting it work through you, possibly for the very first time in your life without, without cutting it off, without cutting it off. Gypsy Nana, did you get your deck yet? You were the first winner of a deck here. I hope you got your deck. I didn't follow. I didn't check your um, thing to see if it was delivered, but I hope you got your deck. Um, so, so where you're at in the here and now, one of the things that I want to do when I talk about, you know, um, the tarot card meanings of the page of pentacles, what you'll notice is in Doug's deck with the bear, that this is, um, this cutie pie is dressed like a bellhop and he's in, I don't know if he's in a hotel that might be a hotel. He might be in a, in a, in a library. He might be in a wealthy person's study or anything like that, but he's got a letter here and that really intrigues me. But you see, when you start tying the story of the tarot card meanings together and you look at tarot as a journey, as a quest, you're going through the story. That's why you've got to be really careful when you, you know, when you book a reading with somebody, <laughs> It's not Hotel California. Welcome to the Hotel California. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly B. I'm going to have that in my, on such a lovely place. Well, I'm going to be singing that all day long. Thank you so much. So, um, so, um, okay, Michelle Santos, I, why would, why would anyone do that? They don't know you. Everybody on my channel is super smart. They know you're a scam. What, just what can't you pick something else to do with your life I, you're good enough I feel like you're very smart that's your psychic mess you get a freebie psychic message Michelle Michelle Santos you're very smart you don't have to be scutting for the ten dollars or fifteen dollars you're going to scam out of somebody when you could be making millions and millions and with all of that said I am blocking you with all the love in my heart bye Michelle putts okay but very smart, man. I know that person's really smart. See, there you go. Eagles. Okay. So I'm back to, um, I'm back to this letter. Okay. So now you're taking a look at, remember we talked about sacred scribing with the, with the page of cups. Okay. Now you've put those ideas on paper and you're mailing them out to the universe. <laughs> See how that works. That's so cool. So even though in this moment, you are really being called to, to put pen to paper, right? And, and I was even told, oh, I forgot. I was even told, don't, don't, don't do this on a computer. You, you've got to have that pen in your hand and you've got to connect that pen with the paper and you've got to write it out that way. Don't be doing this on the computer, right? When you are writing out all of your stuff from before, right? When this whole thing first started, 
you've got to write it on paper. But now it's signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. And that's what you can sing all day long is I'm going to put it on paper. I'm going to send it out, signed, sealed, and delivered to the universe. And then I'm going to sit back and I'm going to look around and I'm just going to, you know, because what time is it? It's time. It's the, that's that time. So all of, oh, Maggie, you're writing a book? Almost done with my beloved book. Ooh, <gasps> Maggie Decker, are you writing a book? Woo, that's exciting. Y'all listen, let me tell you something. I'm not one of those um, people, those, I'm not one of those YouTubers or just people in general that if you are, are doing something that's in the same lane that I do, like you wanna have your own deck or you wanna have your own um, book or your own channel or whatever, I'm, I'm right there for you. And you know why? Because the word competition, that's just, I, I, mm, that word irks me. It has always irked me. Always, always irked me. Um, there, it's not, there's no such thing. There are 7 billion people in the world. And John Holland, John, I love me some John Holland, y'all. He is the best psychic medium and just such a good person. Um, he, he always says in his shows, you know, in his platform readings, he always says what is true, which is the world needs your voice. Your voice is different than my voice and it's different than the next person's voice. And so whatever y'all are doing, it is competition feeds division. <gasps> Gail, you're writing a book as well as your tarot deck book. Whoa, you know what? We should do a, um, I will do, we will do this y'all. I will set up a zoom. Give me, give me through the end of August. Okay. Give me through the end of August, but I'll set up a Zoom for all of you creators. And then just like I did that free Kickstarter class that, by the way, I would like to say only 30% of the people that registered came for. I'm so, I'm, I wish that you had really, really gone into that because you, it was free from someone who's run two Kickstarters that have each raised $50,000 each. And right there, what that will tell you is in life, things happen. I totally get that. They do. But this, that's, ex, that's an example of these cards. You, you're either the salmon or you're not. That's it. You're either going to, you know, you know, swim upstream or you're not. That's it. That in, ain't nobody, mm -mm. nobody's going to rescue you. You got to rescue yourself, but others can help you along the way. And I'll throw you guys a life raft. I will, um, angel heart. I'm sad you missed it too. But um, yeah, so what I'll do is, um, hi, Emma, uh, welcome, welcome. And um, I will tell you that I will, I, I will answer your questions. We'll just have a big old brainstorming session and I'm happy to do it. I love to help people with their creative stuff and I don't, you know, I, I love it just so you know. So anyway, back to, um, back to the page of pentacles. So in this deck, in Doug's deck, the bear deck, there's that letter, which is now why you all see why sometimes I'm called to pull other decks along with my deck just to give further insights. And now what we see is the magically beautiful and perfect way that spirit works with us all day, every day, right? Oh, the magical way that spirit works with us every day. I'm, I'm going to put that on a meme. Yes, I am. And then you take a look at, um, oh goodness, what did I do with the card already? Holy cow, how could I have lost my own card this quickly? <laughs> and yet I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, so let me just also say this. So in my Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, the camel is the page of pentacles. And when you take a look at camels and their, you know, their ability to go miles and miles and miles against conditions that would be pushing them back, like salmon, they go miles and miles against the current. And let me tell you something, that current is no joke, right? That is no joke. I've been caught up in one of those currents before because I, I don't have the sense God intended for a billy goat. But um, camels do not store water in their humps. I was 54 years old when I learned that. I literally just learned that this year. Me, the spirit tarot, the, the spirit you know, totem and power animal lady. How did I not know that? Because I'm not, you know, I'm not Jack Hanna. So, uh, you know, Marlon Perkins and um, Steve, oh my gosh, gone way too soon. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, I'm not those people. But they store fat. 
they store fat in their humps and it can enable them to just go for days and days and days and days and days. And let's face it, the desert, that's a harsh condition, right? So there's something about where you're at right now that even if you don't feel it right now in this second, in this moment, in your spirit, in your consciousness, in your subconsciousness, please, 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 I'm be well, I'm not begging you, but spirit is like, look, we do a lot of joking here. We do a lot of, you know, Steve Irwin, thank you, Krista. We do a lot of talking. We do a lot of lighthearted stuff, but it is, it, you know, this is our lives that we're talking about. And even though everything can have a comic spin on it, and there's always a funny, sunny side to everything, always, always, sometimes it's time to straighten up. Not, not, not that being funny or being lighthearted is not being straightened up, but it's time to like hear it at the depths, 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 depths of your being. And that is this message for you in this moment, which is, you have, <laughs> ain't no stopping us now, we're on the move. Because even if you are feeling like you're afraid to move forward, even if you're feeling like you're not moving forward, if you don't know how to move forward, if you can't, ain't nan none of that true. You are already moving forward because you have already put your sacred intentions that, by the way, you got from co-creating with spirit, who you are. You, you are spirit and spirit is you. So really, you just opened yourself up to yourself. <laughs> And all you did was take another look at the things that you, you already knew about this situation or this person or yourself, but you'd put away for whatever reason. I, this has been the week of, this has been the week of talking to people who have had dreams, uh, things that they wanted to accomplish. And not just that they were held back a year or two or three or four or five, but 15 or 20 years, or 25, and, and, and my heart really does go out to those people. Now, I'm the opposite extreme. I have just bumbled and brumbled into stuff because I wanted to. It sounded fun. It looked fun. I knew I could be good at it, I, and whether I knew I could be good at it or not really, actually, honestly, was completely inconsequential. It just looked fun, and it felt like something I wanted to do. You guys will notice I all the time say, I felt, I feel, because that's how I go through life. <laughs> Not the most mature way, like the, like the cups, right? Like the suit of cups and the minor arcana, but that's the best way I know how to do it. I don't function very well any other way. So, um, I don't, Emma, I don't know who you are asking that question. Um, if you're able to communicate with spirits, if you're asking me, yes, that's what I've been doing professionally for 30 years but that's all kinds of spirits. And we all communicate with spirits on a daily basis. You do, everybody here does. Um, we don't live in a, in a vacuum. Um, we don't live in a vacuum. So all of that being said, um, what time is it? Oh, okay, I got plenty of time. All right, so I just wanna say on the page of pentacles that you've already sent, you've already sent your your message to the universe now write it down write it down for yourself sign seal it deliver it the universe is yours and in this moment if you will if you will just step into this moment anything that you have wanted to do i i just oh my god i just if y'all were standing in front of me i swear to i don't care how long it took i would absolutely hug each and every one of you so tight i hug the snot out of you because what you're what you're embarking on what is about to happen for you is gonna light your world up if you let it just let it that's all you got to do now okay so let me give away the second um deck and so um on this one we're gonna do um i'm i've got a card and i want you guys to just take a second Set your intention. Why do you want this deck? Because I'm giving away um, a brand new deluxe set of my own deck, the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. It's got 149 cards. There's a 380 page guidebook, full color. Like this deck is no joke. It is in, this deck is intended for people 
who truly love the animal allies, who truly love animals, who truly want to be connected with their animal spirit guides at a very real and natural level. That's not taking away from any other animal tarot deck. There are some absolutely beautiful ones out there, but it's why I, why I was called to, 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 to put images of real animals in there. Like other than just a handful of animals in, in my deck, they're real photos of real animals that nature photographers have taken. So I've got a card that I've pulled for you all, and I'm going to keep this card very close to my heart. Mashamel, you're never late. You're always on time. And so what, what I would like you to do is set your intention and then tell me anything that you get about this card. Maureen and Teapot, can y'all keep me straight? I know C. Canuel was the first one to win and then see who's going to um, win this too. So um, if you want to win this deck, then I need you to put in what you think it is. And it can be the actual figure, animal. You could get the landscape. You could get anything about it. You could get the feeling. So I'm just going to take a second. Thanks, Teapot. Nope. Flight in love. Nope. Black Swan. No raven, but I could see why you why black swan came to your mind it is love it's all about the heart it's not imagination little c big c it's not dove i feel nope thanks maureen black jaguar no otter no warthog no funny you mentioned warthog though um jules first hermit no raven no owl no okay reset you guys black fly black fly if you please bam, 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 bam. nope nope cardinal bluebird think y'all you've got to set with it right you've got to like clear your mind and the rest will follow koi fish no stork no peacock no cherry bee it is connected to water correct <laughs> And it is something black. Well, components. Not a penguin. I to puppy penguino. Yeah. Happy feet. Na na na. It is opening your heart to love. No. Nope. Crow. Nope. I definitely tuned out what I was hearing. Well, it's time to stop that, Jennifer Hutton. It's time to it's time to tune back in. Whale. No. Walrus. No. Clownfish. No. I'm the clownfish, Brittany. <laughs> no. Nope. Think. Come on, y'all. Think, think, think. But don't think. Why am I even saying think? I know better than that. It's not a killer whale. It's not a starfish. It is not. Think. Oh, why am I saying that? Take a breath. What's the intention? What do you want? Why do you want this deck? Why? Why? What will this deck do for you? What will this deck do for someone else? Why do you want to win this deck? What, what will this do? What will, what will receiving these animal allies do for you? Do I even have a pelican? Not in this deck. No pelicans. Nope. Nope. Just because I said it was connected to water doesn't mean it's, it's just a water animal. Let it in, y'all. You're more psychic than this. Nope. Nope. Joy, joy, joy. What is the animal? Nope. Taking flight. Nope. 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 Welcome, uh, Madhu, Madhu Hamanita, but um, it doesn't work like that around here. My moderators, uh, we'd love to have you here. Welcome, but it doesn't work like that around here. So if you hang out, my moderators will tell you what's going on and they will uh, encourage you to stay and get your message. Star guided. Uh, yes, it can be. Nope. Come on, y'all. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you a big fat hint. Open your mind and what song pops into your mind. If that doesn't give it away, I don't even know what's going to give it away. 
Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. When will you get married? That's not how it works around here, Mod Humada. Welcome. We appreciate that you're new. We appreciate you joining us, but it's not how it works. Who wants to live forever? Thank you, Daisy. It's a mermaid. Yay, Daisy Summer. It's a mermaid. Woohoo! Now, whether you just guessed it, I don't know. Only you will know that. So, Daisy, I think you're new here. I don't remember seeing your name. Welcome. Um, and if you will, please. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to need y'all's addresses, doe. So uh, send your address. Uh, Teapot, if you don't mind putting in Howl, H-O-W-L, at wildpackwisdom.com. Please let me know that you're the winner of one of the decks. And whether you guessed it, I, here's what I will tell you about that. The best way to win anything, if you're trying to win something, is to make sure that you win it and stay in your own, be your own North Star. Did you just guess it or was it really, really part of your spidey senses? So um, that's important. It's very, very, very important. Okay. So, um, here comes the sun, do 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 Anyway, the song I was trying to get y'all to think of was, oh, wait. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, Restless Mermaid, did you, you said Mermaid way back? Okay, that's fine, I'm giving away two of them. No problem, I didn't see it. Okay, so whoop, whoop, now we're giving away, it's just giveaway day today, y'all. It's just give it, give it away. So, um, uh, teapot or Maureen or both of y'all. Um, so now it's, uh, it is, uh, C. Canuel, Daisy and, uh, and Restless. And then there'll be a, there'll be a, a fourth deck and then I'll be giving away a um, free half hour psychic reading. Okay. So, um, should have guessed it. You don't have that deck. That's funny. No guessing here. No guessing. Got it. Yep. I'm with y'all. So I didn't see that Restless. Sorry, but you got it now. Oh, yeah, exactly. That was a song, um, Daisy. That's what I was trying to get y'all to, you know, um, look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? You know, wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Oh, don't make me sing Disney songs. We'll be here all day. Okay, so let's move on with the reading. Now, what we've seen here so far for you all today um, in all of these tarot cards is we've seen the Page of Cups, which was the beginning of the magic, the beginning of the inspiration, the beginning of the, the sacred messages. Then we got the scribing. You're, you're going to remember this is part of the past, right? This is part of the past of the situation. Now, now you're working with page of pentacles. You're working with camel energy as a spirit totem and power animal. You're moving forward. You're moving forward because remember you're on a quest. That's it. You're on a quest. Now here's where you're going to end up. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Bump, 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 bump. Oh my goodness. And we've got another one. Congratulations to and a lot of Atakaka whatever your name is. I am sending you all the love that I can muster for you. I hope you get the double entendre of that. I am sorry for the life that you have led that leads you to want to scam people, but you're better than that. And quite frankly, you can make a lot more money and feel better about yourself and not create such bad karma. So with all the love that I have for you in particular, I'm blocking you. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, the band hammer is strong in this one this morning. Okay, mostly because I got some sleep last night. All right, so, oh, people. Okay, so congratulations to our winners. Here's where you're headed, y'all. <laughs> Bam! The Queen of Swords, the Jaguar, which, by the way, is like the shaman's animal. And oh, by the way, is the cover of the Ark. Now, there's a reason for that. It is an absolutely powerful, all spirit totem power animals are powerful. They're all the animal guides. All of the animal allies are powerful in their own way. But when you start to talk about big cat energy and you talk about such a, a cat that is so admired and yet so feared and yet so, they, you know, it's like Black Panther. They just evoke this mysterioso about them. It's no joke. Um, I can't, who can pronounce
pronounce their names. Um, Shot through the heart and you're to blame, baby. You give love a bad name. Um, hair bands of the 80s and cheap beer. It was so fun. Um, so fun. Okay, so here's the thing. Moving forward, bingo, bango, bongo. Yes, Chris, I've missed that. Bingo, bango, bongo. So what we see then are two pages and then a queen. We're moving on up, moving on up. Okay, to the east side. Now, in some cultures, it is the king or the emperor that is, you know, the grand poobah. But there are a lot of other cultures where the empress or the queen, that's the deal. So when you take a look at the traditional tarot card meanings of the queen of swords, what you find is that she's a survivor. That's first and foremost, man. She has been there, seen it all done that, taken on adversities, and she's just swashbuckled her way through everything, which harkens back to what? It harkens back to what? It harkens back to the alligator and the page of cups and the salmon that swims upstream. And then it harkens back to the camel in the page of pentacles. And that talks about quests and being prepared to take long, hard journeys and now you're there. You're the queen of swords, baby. Oh, yes. And she's, she is the water aspect of air. She's learned to put her emotions aside. She, can, she, she, she uses that sword to cut the wheat from the chaff, if you've ever heard that. You have learned at that point um, a chicken on a bear. <laughs> that's funny that's funny restless mermaid okay so you've 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 done it right like you've done it meaning you're not there yet but you've set the stage for whatever this thing is that you want to move toward so no matter how stuck you think you were in the past as the page of cups it, it doesn't matter why you didn't you didn't hear the messages, you didn't see the messages, you didn't act on the messages, it doesn't matter. I mean, it does because that's how you're gonna gain the insight and the wisdom. But from there, you've made an enormous jump to be the page of pentacles, even if you don't realize it in this moment. And now your, your trajectory is to be the queen of swords. You've, you, you, you are starting to already see what is really important, to see what is really false, to see what is really no bueno. And you're just like, whack, whack, whack. you're just whacking that stuff down, right? It's craziness. It's just craziness. So all of that said, hold on, y'all. I don't know what is going on with my sound here today. Hey, if I do that, can you guys still hear me? Can you still hear me? Put on, um, put in the notes. Can you still hear me? Maybe, possibly. There's something weird going on into the sound. Okay. No one wants to answer me about sound. Okay, hold on. Yep. Okay, Stephine, you can still hear me. Okay, excellent. Okay, so yes, wonderful. Okay, I just want to get rid of the echo. So what that means is there's this authority. There's this stepping into the seat of your power. And what I would say to you, what I'm hearing from a bunch of you is, you know, you're such giving, loving, compassionate, and, you know, empathetic people that sometimes it can be difficult to stand up like this because that's the stance that, you, that you're going to be called to take now just because you have to stand up like this doesn't mean that you've got to do it like you know how the queen of england is always so regal it, it doesn't mean that it, it has to be like that on the outside but the strength has to be on the inside and it has to be completely unwavering and unshakable and i mean unwavering and unshakable because Let's take a look at the symbolism on, on the card. Now remember, the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, which is the deck I read from, is based on the Rider-Waite-Smith system. So she's, you know, she's sitting there. Um, she is like the no-nonsense Virgo of her. The Le you know, that's the part that ensures that the Libra's scales are always balanced. And if you notice, her head is crowned with butterflies, which are a symbol of transformation. And it reaches above the back of her throne. So what that is telling you is it's an earthly position, right? But the receding, the, the, 
the receding storm clouds in the back and the drama and the clamor and whatever this was. Um, aw, thank you, Kelly. Thank you for the, um, thank you. Thank you for the donation. I appreciate that quite a bit. Um, the, oh, um, the greatest showman song. I, I, I'm drawing a total blank. Sorry. I am, I am all up in this card. I'm drawing a total blank. So this is me. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. The queen is now, yeah. So Natalia, the queen is now using me, uh, or the queen is now me using it to learn discernment. Now from a uh, page, I'm going to into queen mode. I know I have to make out my own path. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Even if odds and uh, the odds of the family is, is against you. Totally get that. Now, all that said, remember this is the queen when, when you when you're a queen when you're a king when you're an emperor but but certainly in this card right when you use a sword to cut basically you're using your your spidey senses and your good sense and your strength to cut through the bs in your life what is really important like what what is really important to you i don't know only you're gonna know that but um and mods, if you have to go, I totally get it. I'm running over time. What a surprise. Um, but I'm going to stay with everybody uh, until we get the last two giveaways done until we get through this card. So, um, oh my gosh, is your name really Novella Atwood? My Lord, if that doesn't sound like a famous author, I don't know what does. I hope you're writing a book, Novella Atwood. Welcome. So um, when you look at the cherub then carved in her, uh, you know, in her throne, you're, you're, you're talking about heavenly inspiration and you're talking about youth and exuberance. And even though, even though you can, you can, you'll still be able to moving forward with, because this is your future, right? And I, I'm being told by the animal allies, this future is literally right around the corner. We're not talking about a year from now. We're not talking about two or three years from now. We're talking about six months at the most. Um, you should be experiencing all of this. And just remember that's gonna, it's gonna cause you, if you'll allow it, to make the hard decisions. And that means, that can mean a lot of things for a lot of people. For instance, when I hire contractors to work, I'm talking about for my yard or, you know, something like that. I don't say too very much to them. I, I get their price. I ask them what they provide. And then I watch them a few times to see what they're providing and how they're doing it. And if they have exemplified to me that they're not detail oriented, that it's, you know, my yard is not important to them meaning not really my yard should be important to them, but how they show up in the world as a professional is not important to them. They got to go. And they're always surprised. They're like, well, why didn't you tell me before? And every single solitary time I say, because I shouldn't have to tell an adult that is in business for themselves, any of this, this should be part and parcel part of it. I shouldn't have to say in a restaurant, if I order spaghetti and I order vegetarian spaghetti, I shouldn't have to tell them anything other than I would like that al dente, please. Or if I'm allergic to onions, which I'm not, well, you know, I shouldn't have to tell them anything. It should come out the best vegetarian spaghetti. And, and if it comes out and it's got a few, you know, like three mushroom pieces and three onions and three green peppers, that is not vegetarian. <laughs> That's not. And I'm going to send it back because especially if it's $25, no, well, I'm going to send it back. Some of you might be in a place in the future where it will be best for you and everyone concerned if you, if you cut through the BS and call the BS. Like what is really important? If you've got a friend or yourself or family member or whatever that's in a spin, the, by working with the Queen of Swords, by getting an alignment with her archetype, and in particular, okay, Jaguar, Jaguar medicine. For those of you working on shamanic, um, on shamanic, a uh, shamanic practitioner path, there's no BS. Like there's no BS because you're dealing with the all natural world. And in the all natural world, there are no fake outs. Now there are animals that are tricksters. 
and I have observed animals and fish and just, I mean, I, I have never observed a living thing that doesn't have a sense of humor. Well, one of my ex-husbands, but, but that's different. But, um, I, I, it, when, when, when it comes down to the nitty gritty, that's the word I'm being told to use. I'm being told to, 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 to tell y'all it's about getting to the nitty gritty. And sometimes that can be tough because you have to take a good hard look at yourself and you have to say, why was I deflecting? Why, why was I, why was I trying to think about everything except for what's really important because you didn't want to face it because the getting there and taking care of it was probably going to be a quest. You probably were going to have to make like a salmon and swim upstream. You probably were going to have to pack fat in your hump like a camel and hump it out over however long. That's not easy. Every single day of my life, I have people, not a person, multiple people say, I wish I could do what you do. I want to, I'm, I'm going to do what you do. I have a, I, I, I'm going to read for people and I'm going to have a YouTube channel and I'm going to start my own website. And six months later, they got every excuse in the world why it wasn't the right time to get started. The this, the that, the whatever. That is not for you at this moment. I am looking right in the camera at you. And if you are hearing me at this moment, when you, when you have gone on a, on a dive to see what, you know, the tarot card meanings of the queen of swords is, and you've landed on my channel, know that you wanted to know about the queen of swords for any variety of reasons. But in this moment, in your life, right at this moment, I don't care what year it is. I don't care when it is because you are done with the excuses. You are done with the circumventing. You are done with the blocking. You are, you're done. That's it. You're done. That's it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know what else there is to say. Now, sometimes when you're a queen, you have to make the hard decisions. But that's what the Queen of Swords tarot card is all about, is to, is to, is to tell you that you're not being cruel. You, you're just doing what's necessary. And you can be ruthless, whatever ruthless means to you. And what that means is you, you very well might have to hurt somebody's feelings. But that's not on you. That's on them to have their feelings hurt. But if someone is drowning in their own nonsense or there's a situation that's being set on fire by, by people, um, you know, what is that rap song? Get out the way, boy, get out the way. Get out the way, boy, get out the way. That's it. They got to get out the way. I love this meme that goes around and it says, hey, those of you that are talking, move aside because you're, I don't know, you're, you're talking about it, talking about it, and you're, you know, you're delaying those of us that are going to actually do it or something like that. There are any number of reasons that people, um, there are any number of reasons that people delay, that they deflect, that they whatever, and I get that. I'm not, I mean, God knows I've been through that myself. I go through it still, but but that is not today. And, and one of the reasons is if you take a look at, um, if you take a look at the imagery here, right, the archetypal imagery, you're going to see that under her white robe are red slippers and they point out. And what, what that means is that points to blood, the heart, the red, there is a human being under that leader. There is a human being under the you know, uh, under the white robes of divinity and, you know, pure heart and all of that. There's a, a pervasive, I find that there's a pervasive thing in the, uh, in the new age industry, the metaphysical industry, the spiritual industry, whatever label you want to give it, that if you're a person that reads for people or you write books or you do tarot or whatever, you're supposed to be this person that's constantly calm and constantly centered and you've risen above all worldly things and you never have problems in your life. And you know what? You don't even use the bathroom, right? Like in fifties television, nobody ever went to the bathroom and they didn't, married couples didn't even sleep in the same bed. They slept in separate beds, right? No, it's not like that. There's no such thing. The, the human condition is what it is. And, and the best that we can do for ourselves is rise as far and get as far elevated to rise above the things of the human condition that we don't want in our life and we know are not working. But let me also say this. When I see the queen of swords come out for somebody in a tarot card reading, I am instantly alerted, instantly alerted that 
there's somebody that that is is you're thinking about doing things for but you don't trust fully and you should not do anything for them or for the situation unless they have earned your trust earned your trust because this is the thing the queen of swords is about a person who has risen above their past they're very very painful past they're very hard past they haven't forgotten it they've just risen above it and the string of beads around her wrist that symbolizes that her fears have been conquered and yes is she wrapped in her painful memories yes that's the cloak with the cloudy sky on it and the cypress trees behind her will show she's not a stranger to mourning but because cypress trees are also associated with the with the goddess hecate they also suggest there's a side to her you do not want to know now that's interesting because in the let me just say this and then i'm going to get to this and then we're going to wrap this up because this is just crazy this reading is not about me it's about you this tarot card reading is about you but for any of you that haven't heard the story about how i came to buy the house that i'm in now there's we'll put the video the link to the video down at the bottom or the story i don't remember if i did a video or a story but one of the reasons that this house called me and waited for me is because there are cypress trees all in my backyard and i'm in a city now it's the city of gainesville which is the city of trees but cypress trees only grow where there's a lot of water and for whatever reason when the chuckleheads were clear in this land to uh build this community they left the cypress trees in my backyard and when i bought this house the lady that said uh, the lady i was buying it from i looked at her because she knows what i do and i said may i give you a message and she said yes and i said honey i'm not going to cut down one tree those trees are safe with me i will be a i will be in good stewardship of them her knees went out from under her she had to sit down on my couch and she started shaking and crying she had had such a relationship with this tree these trees that she was sad to be selling the house but her biggest fear was that somebody was going to come down and mow those trees down well at that time in my life i needed the power of hecate in my life and i deliberate deliberate my spirit deliberate the animal allies they all they brought us all together and those cypress trees in my backyard of which there are like 10 big ones um and then there are some on the other side in the in the swamp that is the protected wetland behind me they've held me in very good stead now what this reading has to do for y'all okay with the um with the queen of swords is in doug's deck this cutie pie little bear is the queen of swords and what you'll notice in her hand is a feather okay come on y'all you get it you see you see the enduring thread here about sacred scribing it's 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 sacred scribing and that's that you're gonna do a lot more of it in whatever way if you will write down so anything that whatever the situation was person yourself whatever was your intention to get a reading about this morning you've got to write the things down what do you want to manifest for the future what is going on because when you are um when you are the queen of swords and you'll be willing to be that person the only thing that doug gives as kind of a guide to his deck there's no book that goes with it no other than it's just the cards they're so beautiful i love them and that's what the back looks like by the way um you can choose from four or five different colored backs they're beautiful um is that they're teddy bears okay oh i'm sweet and cuddly all bears are sweet and cuddly until they're not because <laughs> a bear will play and play and play and play until they don't and you've got to be willing you have got to be willing cats will play until they don't and and i mean like you guys have seen all the all the videos and whatnot you know you know you know i can't stand any animal in captivity at all i just oh it eats at my soul but if they can't be released back into the wild you know it's better that they have a, a beautiful place to be and 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 be and be healthy and be happy and that kind of thing and they you know they'll toss a big old cardboard box out into a, a pen of lions 
the next thing you know, these lions are fussing and fighting to sit in the box. I mean, you know, they're cats, y'all. They're 800 pound cats, but they're cats until they're not cute and cuddly. And so be very clear that this is going to call on you. This reading today, this tarot card reading, live daily tarot reading is 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 going to challenge you it is challenging you and here's what you have to decide do you want the future that you want or are are you, you is, or are you too afraid to step into your power and have the hard conversations with yourself first and then with anybody or anything that's going on around it that is impeding you from becoming the elevated queen that you are being called to be which leads me to another thing the queen of swords is is probably not a college educated queen. So what? That doesn't mean she's not smarter. That doesn't mean she's not smart enough. It doesn't mean she's not creative enough. It doesn't mean any of those things because this queen is a smart queen. Make no mistake. She is slick and sharp and quick witted. And, and there you go. For whatever this situation is, you, you're going to have that about you. You're going to have that sensibility about you. Now, she does not wear her heart on her sleeve, but that does not mean she does not have a heart. Oh my gosh, Maureen. Maureen and I were just having this conversation last night, just having this conversation about people that are, you know, they appear tough on the outside because they are, but on the inside, they're big old balls of marshmallow fluff when they choose to be. And when they choose to be steel through and through, they have the ability to do that because, let me just say, empathy is not a sign of weakness. And this queen, the queen, <laughs> the queen of swords, she knows that. She knows it. And, and that can be one of her superpowers. So when you are, when you are empathic, a lot of people, there's a big thing going on on the internet right now about, you know, it's kind of like when the big buzzword of um, um, people who are introverts. Oh my God, we've got to heal all the introverts. Oh my God, I got to talk about being an introvert. I, 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 I get it. I, I, I was a, y'all, you want to talk about a recovering introvert? It won't seem like it to you now. But when I was a kid, I didn't talk to anybody but the animals and my parents, well, my mom and, and the teachers at school. I, I just, I didn't talk to anybody. And the school counselor at my elementary school called my mom in and said, your kid's going to grow up to be, uh, 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 you know, there, at that time there was some kind of study that came out in the educational system that children that were shy, um, had a, a higher incidence of growing up, uh, you know, to be criminals. <laughs> what? What? Oh my gosh. But mom, you know, my mom, she took it seriously. So she made me not, she made me not do that. But what I'm saying is, is empathy is your superpower because it really is based on understanding. And that really is one of the bigger crux of the queen of swords tarot card is that it is a, is a call that you are, are, are called to understand and that you will have the wisdom and the vision to do that. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this is that um, you, as the Queen of Swords, will bear, bear your drama with dignity and with grace and elegance, right? Grace under fire, grace under pressure. But that fire can build up and build up and build up and boom, boom, it can come out like a volcano. It can come out like all the hellhounds of Hecate, right? So just remember that, that that's not necessarily the part you want to give into, but don't try to bottle it or push it away because it will explode. So I hope that was helpful to everybody today. Let me get these last two giveaways done and um, then we can all go on about our day. And I just love spending time with you all. Thank you for those of you that hang in there on these crazy long readings and whatnot. But um, really spirit called on me to, to do readings, but also have them be teachings as well. Because it's just not, you're only getting part of the picture, you know, the people that are just like, oh, well, this, uh, this card got pulled for you. And so, um, you know, here's what it means, you know, thank you, bye. It, it just doesn't, I, I'm not supposed to do that. That's it. Okay. So I've got another card. This one I'm holding here. Um, oh, Tiffany. Hey, honey, I missed you too. 
Okay. I Oh, girl. INFJ. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. Myers-Briggs. It's really interesting you mentioned that, Lily. I've just been talking a lot about Myers-Briggs. Very funny you mentioned that. Thank you, Lily. Uh, gosh, you put in podcast. I, I'm not even going to try your last name. I'm going to just call you Lily Pad. I love that. Is that okay if I call you Lily Pad? Um, cause pod is kind of like pad. So here we go. So I've got, um, I've got a card and it's up to you to tell me about this card. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Lily pad. Um, what is this card? What is this card? Nope. No spider, no owl. Y'all with the owls today and the eagles. Nope. See what I'm, I'm rubbing my third eye, rubbing my third eye, panther. I wish it was panther. Actually, I don't. I, I, I never really wish it's a, um, a peacock in every card. Um, I don't know, earthwise, maybe because peacock is trying to get to you today. And maybe, maybe it's not for you to guess what's on the card. Maybe it's for you to, to, to meet with peacock for what peacock can do for you. Great googly moogly. Nope, 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 carp, <laughs> carp, blub, blub. No, it's not a carp. That's funny. You get points for funniness. Jessica Blower Doyle, you get, you get points for funniness. No to puppy, penguino, he's no scorpion, he's no polar bear, he's not tigre, he's not tigre. <laughs> what? I've lived 31 years with my hand over my mouth and told not to speak or be over dramatic. Well, poo hit the fan. Good. And I hope the fan was sending the poo in the way of the people that were trying to hold you captive. We'll have none of that around here. We are wild and free. And that's it. Period. Your spirit is a wild and free spirit. It's always been intended to be because God knows your soul is. Uh-uh. We're not having any of that. Ooh. Googly moogly. It's not that card either, Teapot. <laughs> Something light and airy. Ah! Uh, kinda-ish pearl, but not so much. Nope, smaller and furry. Nope. That was, you're probably seeing the last fella I dated. Um, small and furry. Unicorn, nope. No horns, no cassowary, no happy feet. Butterfly, dragonfly, hippo. Stag, dragonfly, chameleon, deer, warthog. Uh, chipmunk, squirrel, elephant, peacock, dolphin, wolf. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, y'all. Open your mind. Open your channel. Open your channel. Come from love. Set your intention. Why? Why should the animal allies bring you this information so you win this deck? Why? It's not a black swan. It's not a bluebird. It's not an antelope. It's not a penguin. I to puppy penguin. Um, ostrich. Nope. No lizards. Uh, the star. No juju. H dab. Black fly. No monkey. No. Come on, y'all. Listen. And thank you, mods, for hanging in there. I know I keep trying. I keep swearing to y'all. I'm gonna cut these short, and then I don't. Nope. Sorry, Kelly. Bye. Blue booby. No. Let me give you a. I'm gonna give you a hint. If you want something done, sometimes you just got to do it your dang self. It's an animal, but it's also a tarot card. Queen Dorcas Bellow. Well, at least one part of your name is right. The dork part. Why do you want to scam people? What? Please get just, I don't know what you need to do to heal, but I am sending you all the loving energy I can so you heal and stop being the queen dork. And for now, with all that love, I'm going to block you. Blocked! Ba-bam! Gonzola! g g g gonzola Gonzola! Um, nope. Road runner. if he catches you, you're through. Meep, meep. Nope, 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 nope. Well, y'all are eventually going to get through all 149. Ha! Brown Brujita, the condor, the king of swords. Yes. Okay, Brujita. Okay, I love that. Congratulations. Bueno, bueno, bueno. So, um, Brown Brujita and the rest of you that have won so far, please send me your uh, mailing address. 
to uh, Howell H. O. Let me just write it in here. What am I doing? Yes, congratulations, Howell at Wild Pack. I am. <laughs> I'm trying to type around my around my microphone. I'm just a hot mess. I'm such a mess, y'all. I wish we all worked together in an office. Nothing would ever get done, but dang, we'd have a lot of fun. There'd be morning margaritas and everything. So we already have a winner. We have Brown Brujita, that guest condor, the king of swords. Bah, 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 which is interesting because the queen of swords came up and then this card came up like way later craziness all right congratulations now this is to give away a reading and this is for a free half an hour reading which with me is 75 dollars um and hopefully very helpful i hope people get readings with me get um uh, find find great uh great value in it i hope it's very helpful so all right switch now and those um and i'm gonna want the email address uh and the phone number uh, the email address and the phone number of whoever wins the reading so that I can have Amy get in touch and um, set up your reading time. So here is this. It would be a zoo, right? It would be a, <laughs> it would be a literal zoo, eh, Sparks? If we all work together. It would be so fun. We should just like, I don't know, it'd be fun. We should all sit on a Zoom one day and just work together. Like each of us do our respective jobs for like an hour while we're on Zoom together and just see what that does. That could create some hella hilarity. It really could. Um, it's not the gorilla, Brittany. Um, yes, LK Bowie, you did. I think Amy left a message for you yesterday, but you can have that reading. And then if you win this, you could, um, you could just use it for another time or gift it. Okay. All right. So penguin, no, Tiffany K. It is not a penguin. It's not a penguin. We are the wild pack. Lion, nope. Empress, nope. Let's do it. I'm serious. It would be way fun. We can have like breakfast together and then we could all just like, um, I do puppy penguino. Na, 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 na. Boogie Wonderland. Dance, dance. Boogie. Gone too soon. Ha ha. Little C, big C. The fool, baby. Bam! Little C Big C, you are the winner of a half an hour reading with Mama Bear. Whoop, 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 whoop. Um, that's interesting. The C's have it. The C's have it today. So congratulations to Little C Big C. You guessed the fool or you got it psychically. I hope it was that you got it psychically. And now we are all, whew, I feel so much more better. Everybody's caught up on all of their, um, prizes and awards and everything thank goodness 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 okay congratulations to everybody listen y'all i got to get and so um thank you so much i hope you subscribe to my youtube channel click the little ringy dingy bell thing you get all the alerts and notifications please remember that all of everything that you see on youtube um from july 22nd through august 4th is going to be pre-recorded they will be daily readings but not in any way that you've ever seen before i'm so excited and i just can't hide it ah! i'm gonna be filming this weekend and then also during the week and um man oh man oh man oh man i just cannot oh my goodness i oof i hope you love them as much as i love them and the animals love them so wait who said puffin Brittany? you said puffin okay so that's okay so Brittany, i didn't see it but that's okay it's not too late i didn't see it so so Brittany and little c and big c um, they have, I will, I'll give them both a half an hour free reading. No problem. So Brittany that just said, I said puffin, I didn't see that. So just, um, please send your, um, send your telephone number and your address and your, uh, email address. Those of you that are winners, remind me what you won and put it, uh, remind me what your screen name is. If it's different than your regular name, send it please to howl at wildpackwisdom.com. Maureen's got it in there. I think teapot put it in there. Um, either. Tiffany, you said Puffin? How did I totally miss this? Malcolm, you said Puffin? Wait, did y'all say Puffin after? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Really? I totally did not see that. All right, so I'll go back through the chat. Sorry, you guys. Tiffany, you did say Puffin. Wait, but that was that. Hold on. I just want to be, I want to make sure everybody's, you know, Scorpios are all about the justice, right? 
Hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I got this right. Because the chat goes away when I'm done. It, oh, it doesn't save the chat. Lily. Lily pad said puffin too. Oh my gosh. And then Tiffany said it. I don't see you on here. And then Brittany said it. Oh yes. Okay. And wait. Great googly moogly. Okay. Well, that's what happens when all these, all these psychic energies get together. Okay. Hold on. Let me just look. Okay. I'm going to keep the chat open. I got to go, but I'm going to keep the chat open. Those of you that said Puffin, please go ahead and send me your email address, your telephone number, and your physical address. Let me go back through the chat, see what I missed. I want it, the, the winners that have already declared, they're winners. And w when I see the others and look at the time, because um, it's always, you know, first, right? So, uh, and if you're, I got this covered. I will take care of you. I will take very good care of you so that it's fair for everybody. Um, so all that being said, I love you guys. It's so good to be back. And thank you again for all of your kind wishes. Um, if you want to discuss anything, if you've got questions, please go over to wildpackwisdom.com forward slash forums. Those are my forums. It's not policed by anybody but us. And it's not really even policed. It's just a really safe private environment that we can talk about anything. Um, it's where I hang out on social media, my own social media. Imagine that. And um, man, I hope this reading was helpful for y'all. And I just, I love you. And, and what do we always say? No matter anything else that goes on, what are the most important things? To do good for animals, including yourself, and stay wild. Take care, everybody.